What's up YouTube and welcome back to Kangaroos TV. There's a big, big fight on this weekend. Kovalev versus Lions. Lions in the camp. Anthony Yard. But this fight, I can't, I, it has to be lit. It has to be lit. The only way this fight, I can see being like a shit show is if someone gets like an injury or as a cut or something. This fight, I'm looking forward to heavily. Now you tell me how you see this fight going. Because I Kovalev think... win, really finished. That's that that for me. Wow. For me, it's a Kovalev win. Listen, I love Anthony Yard, yeah, and I've same, been saying I've been same. saying it for a long time. I lo I just love the way he carries himself. I like the way that he just goes about his business. Yeah, it's fine. Outside of the ring, as soon as he gets in the ring, I, I don't think. From what I've seen, he isn't good enough to that to be fight people of that level of that caliber. He's a, the, listen, I know if people talk about Kovalev, oh yeah, he's finished, he's passed it, whatever. Listen, he's got three losses on his record. Two of those came against the son of God, B. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. How are you going to be the son of God? How are you going to be the son of God, bro? How? Just, listen, this is, he's, like, got, he's got loads of powers on his side. He's a son of God. That's what I'm saying. You just, Him and Jesus are the only people that would just... <laughs> bro, just erase those defeats. They don't matter. Just erase them. You know what I mean? Like I say, it's like a saying, isn't it? If you literally had in the two defeats on the record, Jesus, Jesus... And next man, and that uh, the the person that he got the, he lost to, he came back and beat him. So listen, put some respect on Kovalev's name, innit? Mm. Let's let's not get it twisted. Listen, Kovalev is not a joke out here. But the thing is, a lot of people are saying they see Anthony Yard winning this, right? Now I'm just like you. I I love everything about Anthony Yard as a fighter. His physique, he can sell tickets, swag, it, it, swag. It's, it's everything. About, like, that's what I like about him the most. Everything. It's just every, you know the way he carries himself, holds himself, press conferences, the way he talks. I'm like, yeah, my guy. Yeah. Because the sort of person that I would like to say, yeah, that's one of my bridges. But that's the sort of person that he comes across as. But. No, but what, before we get into the butt, yeah, is I'm saying, a big butt. No, what I'm saying is, don't get it twisted. Like, we are massive, massive Yard fans, and we want him to win, and we want him to prove to us that he is at this level. That's what we're trying to say. So let's not get twisted to saying that we're not back in Yard because he's our boy, he's from the UK, and we, got to, we want him to win. Now, Absolutely want him to win. Now, you go into the butt, yeah, because before you go into the butt, as you said, Kovalev is levels. What has Yard done? To get to the stage. Exactly. He beat people like I, I, these names, like Keanu Reeves was citing his name, his brother, yeah. Darius, just any Donnies basically like, in the gym that just wanted to do a sparring session. And this is why, and this is why I'm saying it, I, this is how I see it anyway. This is the reason why Uncle Frank is going to start losing fighters pretty soon. Billy Joe Saunders, he said it, he said it straight. Uh, no disrespect to Uncle Frank, but I need the big names. And the big names are signed up to the zone and match room. Mm. That's where them P's at. The zone got that, they got some next, next level of P that comes from somewhere that, bro, the people that signed up to, to the zone, for example, the two big names that come to mind straight away, Joshua, Canelo, right? Matt, Matt Troom, they're signing, they're signing up um, uh, every person of, of significance in the division is either with Matt Troom or, or linked to Matt Troom via the zone, yeah? Now, as far as I'm concerned, Anthony Yard is not ready for a Kovalev fight, as far as that is my, in my personal opinion. Because I, every time I've seen him fight with these people that don't have... And, th and this is why people people are a bit like, I'm not sure. Because these people, if he was going in there and he was blitzing them out and putting on a show to say, listen, that's light work for me. I need another challenge or I need big challenges, then fine. But I've been watching, I've watched yard fights and think like myself, I'm, I'm not convinced. I'm not sure this guy, boxing-wise, is ready to fight the likes of Kovalev. He hasn't had that amateur pedigree. He hasn't had those those fights stacked up that he can that he can draw upon. Yeah, but my question to you would be, that when is the best time to fight Kovalev then? Because Kovalev now is, what, 36? I don't even know what he's, 36, 37? And he ended, people have seen his last few fights and they haven't been great. Even though he overcome his loss, his performances haven't been great. And this is not the Kovalev at his peak. So, wait, so, so, wait, so, so what you're telling saying me? is, when, so what, what maybe, telling maybe this is the best time to fight Kovalev. But, okay, the best time to fight Kovalev, if you are somebody that's got them rounds in the belt, mm. if you've got championship rounds in the belt, if you've got that experience to fight top-level fighters... Don't get me wrong, this guy will still have that ring know-how. He's still going to have the, that... that he, he knows how to put people to sleep. Bro, he's got Bernard Hopkins on his CV, bro. Kovalev. It's not a joke, bro. He's not a joke. Do you know what I mean? Whenever I talk about Cleverly, talk about Cleverly, this, Cleverly, that, bro. I never thought Cleverly was the real deal. But what happened, when he fought Kovalev, he realised that, listen, there's levels to this shit. Sick of this shit. That's what he was thinking, bro. I said, oh, I want out. You know what I mean? So, listen, I want Anthony to win. Like I said, we've always wanted like the guy and whatever, but I think that I think the jump's too big. Personally, I think he needs to, he needed to have people on his. Maybe Uncle Frank's thinking 
it's a free hit. Listen, he ain't gonna have the, the bulk of fights that other fighters will get to have, but he's got himself, he's maneuvered himself into a position so he's got a title shot. If he wins, great. If he loses, then everyone will be like, well, it was Kovalev. You know, look at, look, you know, it, it probably came too early. Yeah, but the thing is, for me, the reason why I love this fight is because we've been saying this for time, for about a yard, that we know he's talented, we know he bangs, um, and he hasn't really, look, the fights that he's won, he hasn't been like, as in like you think that he's been like, he's gonna lose this fight or he's looked really, really bad. He hasn't looked bad in that, in that sense. So what I'm saying is maybe this fight is actually gonna bring the best yard that we will ever see. And it's gonna, you know, spar him to the next fight he needs to, he needs to get to. So what I'm saying is that maybe this fight is what, who else is out there really for you saying to, before he gets that level, who else is that? Because this is a, a old Kovalev. So maybe this, like I said, I, it could be that this is a perfect time. And if you look at people like uh, Spencer Fearon, they're saying Yard's gonna win this. They're saying Yard's gonna win this comfortably as well. So, uh, and, as I'm saying, like, we want Yard to win, but when you lose your boxing head, it kind of tells you that maybe this fight has just come too soon. I, I agree with and, you. And listen, I, I, I'm not, um, the, 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 like you say, the, your, the opportunity, if you look at the other champions and look at the, the, the routes to a world title, that's probably your best bet because he's old, he's, he's, it's disrespectful to say that he's old, but you know, he's, he's had a lot of fights and had tough fights and, and, and whatnot. So from that perspective, yeah, okay, you know, you could be, that is a, a, a way of looking at it, you know, glass half empty, glass half full and, and so on and so forth. You're taking a fight in his backyard. That's, that's the thing. You're going to Russia. You had no fights outside of the UK, outside of the copper box. Yeah? And you want to go to Russia to go fight my man? Come on now. I was told that he is, and apparently Tunde, like, Tunde, you need to make a whole separate video on Tunde because that's a whole different subject of talking about Tunde. I don't want to get that started about Tunde, yeah? But apparently, Yard has not sparred anybody for this before this fight. Uh, that could be bullshit. That could be bullshit. But if, it, if that's true, What? So, okay, say, say okay, you're saying Kovlev's gonna win this year, so then how do you see Kovlev winning this fight? Do you see it by d the knockout? Do you see it by points? And if the, and on the flip side, if Yard's gonna win this fight, how do you go about seeing him win this fight? So I, I actually think the only way that Yard could win this fight is a stoppage, is, is a stoppage, because I don't think he's gonna knock, I don't think he's gonna, as in, I don't think he's gonna knock him out, I think it'd be a standing, you know, that's it, that'll do. You know, one of those ones. See, and I'll I, listen. I was, I was slightly discreet. I would think the only way I can see Yard win this, win this fight is actually on points and going the distance. Because I don't think Kovalev now, even though he's had experience for the 12 rounds, I don't think he's got it in him anymore to keep it up at that level. Yeah, so I, I, I don't think that, that from, from the, I can only go by what I've seen. Mm. Yeah, I don't know that he's a personally Yard, right? But I can only go by what I've seen. And we followed, I don't think we've, we've never missed a fight, I don't think, right? And everything that I've seen would tell me that this guy does not have the boxing know-how to go 12 rounds, championship rounds. I know everyone says a cliche, everyone talks about it. He has not got the experience of fighting championship rounds. Kovalev, on the other hand, that's the one thing that will get him through is having the experience to have the championship. I see Kovalev winning on points and I think he'd be in quite a wide margin because I don't think Yard is good enough at the moment to go in there and cut the ring off and break matey down and do, what, do a job in his back garden. You're asking him to go in and fight. So it, this will be a, a equivalent of someone like Tyson Fury going into Vladimir Klitschko's back, um, backyard and beating him. That's what it was like, because the geezers had, he, he, he's known, he's older, but he's done it, he's been there, he's the champion. And you're going into his backyard where he, you know he's gonna get every decision. And Tyson Fury had to be immaculate that, in, in that fight, mm -hmm. yeah? So this is gonna have to be a Tyson Fury-esque type performance. Do I see Anthony Yard have that the, the skills or the 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 know-how to go in and pull off that type of a performance? I'd say no. But who would have said Tyson Fury has got the skill set at that point? I I, I did, but a lot of people disagreed with me. Who would have said that he would go into to Klitschko's back garden and beat him on points like he did a one-sided affair? Not very many people. So. You know, I'm, I'm giving you both arguments. I'm still sitting in, in Kovalev's corner because I think Kovalev is going to have, have way too much experience, know-how, skills, um, hit the country that he's fighting in. I think it's a lot of it's going in Kovalev's favour. Yard's going to have to fight the best fight of his life and some mm -hmm. to beat him. That's why I see. I, I'm going to go with, obviously, I'm going with Kovalev. Um, it's it's going to be stoppage. And I think he'll be in the seventh to eighth round and it will be stopped by the referee, I believe. That's what that's how I'm going. I don't see I don't see him knocking a yard clean out. And another thing, yeah, this may be controversial. What I'm about to say, yeah, but you know you know you know Russians as well, yeah. 
and drugs. Now this topic is very controversial. Isn't it? <laughs> Russians and drugs don't really go together that well in it. So what I'm saying is, yeah, if you see, if you see Yard get licked over the top rope, yeah, you know that the them because Kovalev needs to win this fight, yeah, he needs to win this fight. You know these man's there. You know they get them, they have them drugs that you can't be detected, bro. You get mixed with like cowpole, Benelin, Decker, you know, Winstrel and all them things there, yeah. But well, trust me, he wants to win this fight and at all costs. Because if he doesn't win this fight, Kovalev, it's finished, bro. All I heard is I saw an interview the other day that Yard was saying that there was no hot water in his hotel. His bags were missing. <laughs> and he goes, he goes, they were on that plane to Russia because there was two black men. It was him and Tunde and their bags were missing. And he said he, goes, he just laughed it off because, you know, they're up to, basically what I'm saying is they're pulling out the stops to make sure that Yard ain't comfortable. So I guess there is them, there, there is that fear. And like I said, I'm, I'm going to be cheering for Kovalev. I'm oh, sorry, Yard, no matter what, regardless. Yeah, 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 I'm going to be cheering for him because I've wanted him to do well. I just, and, and, and we wanted him to be in these fights. Because yeah. we've been we watching for too long and fighting these guys that are thinking, no. They're they, not good. They're but, not good enough and not bringing the best out of Yard. And maybe this is the time. But I, I feel my honest, honest opinion. Yeah, I can't see it happening. But I'm, obviously, like I said, I'm going to be cheering and, and jumping and screaming for him. But I can't see it happening. I think it's going to be a couple level win. And everyone, the viewers, I mean, let us know your view on this one, especially. I know there's only like a day or two left before the fight comes. But what I've seen and what I've heard, a lot of people are saying Yard's going to win this fight. And as I mentioned, some names already. So I'm very intrigued to see how people see him win this fight. Um, and obviously, you know, as always, we'll put our hands up if, if we get wrong. And we're going to be happy if Yard wins this. But, as you said, and like I said, I can't see this fight being a, a dull one. No, it, it, I think, it's, yeah, it's going to be a good fight. It's going to be a good fight because, he, like you said, the only thing is, I've said it before as well, right? Kovalev isn't the same Kovalev that we've grown up watching, Period. right? And we've seen over the last few years, it's inevitable these things happen. But is, is Yard at that level that he's shown everybody that I'm way too good for these opponents that I've fought, who are nobodies, no disrespect, but in, in contrast to the other fighters that are out there, they're people that you wouldn't even be able to reel off, right? And he hasn't blown him away. So you have, you've got a guy that hasn't blown away mediocre opponents against a guy that's been there with the very best and beaten them. And obviously apart from Jesus, but he's beaten the best. Yeah. So they are, they, you know, one's on the way down, one's on the way up. But I think this person on the way up is too far away from the person on the way down at the moment. And I think that's that gap. And that's for that reason, I think I can't see it happening. Well, there it is. That's our prediction. Um, don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment, and definitely comment on this one. Because I'm really, I am really keen to hear what people say because I've heard a lot of people say that Anthony Yard's going to win this fight. Please tell me how you think, and he will. Like I said, I'm hoping he does. Tell me how you think it's going to happen because at the moment I can't see it. And we definitely look forward to seeing you on this reaction video after this fight. Peace.